Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today, because it is New Year's Eve, Happy New Year's Eve guys, um, I thought I would end the year with looking back on everything I've read this year or most of the stuff I've read this year and do the 2017 end of year book survey. This was actually created by Jamie from Perpetual Page Turner um, and I've been doing it every single year over my blog and I thought this year I would answer some of the questions in a video just to wrap up the year. There's a ton of actual, there's actually a ton of questions in this survey so I'll link below to the blog post that also went up today so you guys can see my answers for everything else. So there's a ton of questions, I don't think I'm going to answer them all in this video plus there's a whole set section for uh, blogging and bookish goals and things like that that have happened over this year and everything like that. Um, so let's go. I'll, as I said, I'll link to my blog post plus I'll also link to Jamie's blog so you can go check it out because it's quite a beautiful looking blog and she's got some great content. Lastly, my reading stats. Now I would like to just start off by saying I'm actually filming this the week before Christmas so I definitely can see myself reading at least another one or two books by the time this video actually goes up um, but really the only things they're going to affect are these reading stats. I don't think they're going to affect the answers to the rest of my questions so as of the 19th of December these are my stats. I've read a total of 81 books this year. I cannot believe it. My original reading goal was 50, then I pushed it up to 60, then I pushed it up to 70, and I pushed it up, then I pushed it up to 80, and I've only just passed it um, in the last couple of days, and I can't believe it. Um, number of rereads this year, however, was 11. These included a mix of books that I'd read last year, and I reread this year, um, plus some books that I've read this year, then I read like a couple of months later. So there's a there's quite a few books that I've read this year that I've picked up again and read this year as well. So number of pages read is 24,537 although I do think it's more than that because a lot of the ebooks I've read haven't got page numbers on Goodreads and that's how I calculated this. The Goodreads told me how many page numbers I read this year but I don't think it's correct but it's definitely 24,000 plus. Number of authors read. I've read 29 authors this year which is insane to think about and what's even more insane is the number of new to me authors I've read this year are 20 which is also insane. And genre you read the most from this year is contemporary romance, particularly new adult and adult. Definitely a genre that I've just been reading. Pretty much most of the books I've read this year have been from this genre. There have been a couple of fantasy I've read, but it's mainly contemporary romances. So on to best in books. I couldn't pick just one for this category, so I had to go with three. The first one is King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard. I'm so excited for War Storm next year. Next one is God's Grave by Jay Kristoff because that was epic and ended... <sighs> The third one is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas because you know why, because that book is amazing. Book you were excited to read and thought you were really going to love but quite didn't quite live up to expectations, that's got to be Up in Flames by Abby Glines. It's the final book in the Rosemary Beach series and you guys all know how much I love Abby's work and how much I love the Rosemary Beach series. I was just really excited to get the end of the series and see how it was wrapped up and sort of see how she all, how Abby wrapped up the storylines of other characters as well as finally giving us Nan's story. As much as Nan is a bitch in that series I was really excited to have for her to have a happy ending but I just didn't like how this was executed. The relationship in here was very problematic and I just did not like it at all. I felt like it didn't have that same Rosemary Beach feel as all the other books in the series did um, and there was um, a moment there's a, there was a twist with one of the characters that I felt was ridiculous and just didn't need to happen. Uh, there was just so many things that I didn't like about the book and I was so annoyed because I love Abby's books and I love the Rosemary Beach series and this just, this just wasn't what I wanted in Nan's book. Best series you started in 2017, best sequel you read in 2017, and best series ender you read this year. So the best series I started has got to be the Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J Maas. I love that series so much and I'm so glad I finally started it this year and really finished the original trilogy as well. Um, the best sequel has got to be God's Grave by J Kristoff. It is everything I wanted in a Nevernight sequel plus more and oh that book guys, that book just epic and amazing and he ended it so well for the next book and I'm so excited for the next book in that one as well. Best series ender. I've actually only finished two series this year. First one is the Rosemary Beach series and as I said I didn't like how that series ended. The other series I finished this year is the Fifty Shades of Grey series by E.L. James so I am gonna have to go with Fifty Shades Freed. I do gen like uh, say what you will about the series I do really think it was a good um, ending to the series because it's so action-packed and so 
so much to make. There's so much in that final book, so much happens, and I also just feel like it wrapped up Anna and Christian's story really, really well. Favorite new author you discovered in 2017? As I said, I re read 20 new authors this year, but my favorite, I definitely think, uh, but, and you know, as much as I would love to say like Sarah J Mass because I've picked up her books this year I don't want to be very repetitive but an author that I've been really loving and actually is the per is the author of the last two books I've actually read is Emma Hart she is a contemporary romance author doing new adult and adult novels she's very similar to Abby Glines which I think is why I really like her but I've loved all the books of hers that I've read so far and she's got so many books that I'm so excited to read they all sound like things I'm gonna love so I'm really excited to be reading more of her work next year. Moj most action-packed, thrilling, and unputdownable book of the year. I'm going again with two for this one because they were both books that I just flew through as soon as I got my hands on them. The first one is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mass. You know, after the events of Akamath and how that ended, I was so excited for this book and so much was going to happen and I was just, I couldn't stop reading this book. It was definitely the fastest I've read a 700 page book before, which was insane. It was amazing. The other one was God's Grave by J. Christoph because I was so excited to see what happens next and just the way it's told you get alternating time periods like you get to go back to just after the events of the first book and then you get to see like I think it was like six months later at where Mia is now and then just it just got better and better and things were just getting revealed and there was plot twist after plot twist and developments and things like that and then and then how it ended I just oh my god the book was amazing and I just again that was a book that I just sped through because I needed to know what happened. Best book you read this year that you'll probably likely reread next year? Um, I am, It's so easy for me to pick up a book to reread. If I really enjoyed a book and I just suddenly get the urge to read it, again, I will pick it up. So there's definitely a few I will reread again next year. The first one is probably I'll end up reading some books from the Rosary Beach series by Abby Glines. I'm actually in the middle of rereading it now so I can definitely see myself continuing that reread and also just rereading some of the books again next year. I'm definitely at the point where I'll just pick up um, because I've read this will be the second time I'm reading the series I'll just be picking up um, a character's collection of books rather than starting from the start again. I definitely really want to read Caravel by Stephanie Garber again next year. Legendary is coming out and I just kind of want to revisit the first one again before Legendary because I'm excited for what's in store for that book and I just need to kind of go back and just refresh myself. Plus I really loved Caravel and I would love to experience it again. Um, I'm probably going to read Fifty Shades by E.L. James again. I definitely, if I don't read the whole series again, I definitely want to read Fifty Shades Freed before the movie comes out just to refresh myself so then I can go into the movie and enjoy the movie and just sort of see what they did with some of my favorite scenes from that book. Plus, I can totally see myself reading the Akatar series by Sarah J. Mass again, particularly around the release of A Court of Frost and Starlight. Um, I really do just want to read Akamath and Aka War again, to be honest. I don't really see myself reading Akatar again. Anyway, most beautifully written book of 2017. I'm going to go with Note to Self by Connor Franta. Connor just has a really poetic way with words and he wrote such a moving and emotional and personal book with this that it's just such a, it's just a beautifully written book. Plus throw in like the poetry and the photography. It's just such a well written and well put together book. And I feel like Connor is someone who would be really, really good at writing fiction because he's so good at writing that very personal emotive stuff that he did in this book. Most thought-provoking, life-changing book you read this year. Um, thinking about all the books I read this year, they're definitely not ones that would be thought-provoking or life-changing, but for thought-provoking, one is uh, Arms Race by Nick Lowe. This is a short story collection that has sort of stories that are mixed of alternate histories, um, alternate presents, and then things that could actually happen in our future. And it really got me thinking, especially the alternate present and the future stories, because they're things that literally could happen. And they're not necessarily positive things. It's just sort of the way the world is and sort of how you would you could see these things happening in the future and it was just really interesting to see those stories and to think about it and to think that this is something that could actually happen in our world it's a really good short story collection i really recommend it and i definitely actually that's probably another book i want to read reread next year as well because the stories are just really really interesting and some of them were actually really really good 
shortest and longest book you've read this year. The shortest at 97 pages is Curious Emily by Abby Glines. This is a novella in the Rosemary Beach series and it was 97 pages of just feels. The longest book I've read at 699 pages was A Quarter Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas and it is I think the longest book I've ever read. No. How long is um, Order of the Phoenix? That might be longer but let me just tell you. It's definitely the longest book that I've read in a while. Newest fictional crush in 2017. Again there's two for this one because obviously the first one is Resand because just because obviously and the other one is Silver from Because of Him by Jessica Rowe because he's literally like a guy that I wish existed IRL because like he's perfect he'd be my perfect guy in all honesty I just love him so much and thinking about him thinking about thinking about him makes me really want to read the book which I've already read twice this year Best 2017 debut you read. I haven't read too many debuts this year, but definitely one of my favourites is Girl in Between by Anna Daniels. It's Australian, it is funny, it is fun, and I seriously, seriously enjoyed it. So that is it. I'm going to end it there because this video has gone on long enough, but definitely check out my blog post if you want to see the answers to all the other questions. I think there's another like 20 questions to go, and um, I think there's, there was some more in this best of book section as well, so go check out that blog post. Let me know in the comments below, maybe your, some of, blah, blah, blah. let me know in the comments below some of your answers to these questions, or I definitely recommend answering these questions in either a blog post or a video, because it's just a really great way to look, really great way to look back on your year and at all the books you read. I've had a really great reading year, and I'm so excited for next year, and I hope that I'm going to be able to read, continue reading amazing and I hope I'm going to be able to continue reading amazing books and discovering some amazing authors and hopefully next year I will actually get somewhere with my TBR because it's just grown astronomically this year and I kind of need to to get it down. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will literally see you guys in the new year. Bye.